For this video, I took I-265 North into the city of Norfolk, Virginia to explore one of our nation's oldest communities. It was a partly cloudy autumn day with highs in the mid-60s, and as we crossed over the Chesapeake, the clouds were increasing. The day was Tuesday, November 17th, 2020, at 3 p.m. On this trip, we're gonna begin in one of Norfolk's nicer communities on the northwest side of town. Then we're gonna drive into downtown Norfolk and then wind up in the worst part of Norfolk. The goal is to give you some perspective on the good and bad areas in town and all in one nearly continuous shot so you can see how the city's all laid out. We're gonna begin up here in the Ghent neighborhood and drive towards downtown. The Ghent neighborhood here is part of the city's historic district. Homes here run anywhere from $250,000 to $600,000. This is kind of an arts community and they hold festivals here throughout the year. Much of this neighborhood was laid out in the 1920s and it's remained mostly intact ever since. In the 70s and 80s, parts of this neighborhood fell into disrepair, but much effort's been made to restore this community and now it's considered one of the coolest neighborhoods in all of the Hampton Roads. And here's the rest of one of Norfolk's finest neighborhoods as we make our way towards downtown.
Now we're getting closer to downtown. Norfolk is a very old city, founded in 1682. That's a long time ago. In the 1970s, the population in Norfolk reached its high of 300,000 people. However, over the last 40 years, it's gone down tremendously. Now this population is 240,000 people, which is a 17% decline. It's still the third most populous city in the state of Virginia, though. Norfolk's part of the Hampton Roads region of the state, and it sits in a natural harbor at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. It's widely considered the historic, urban, financial, and cultural center of the region. The city has a long history as a strategic military and transportation point. The largest naval base in the world, Naval Station Norfolk, is located in Norfolk, along with one of NATO's two strategic command headquarters. Back in the day, Norfolk was a major shipping port for British ships and saw many battles during both the American Revolution and the Civil War. Today, the population here is stabilized after a middle-class white flight, which happened in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Most of the families who left wanted newer and nicer homes and more diverse shopping and dining options. The city spent a great deal of effort to renovate downtown, and antiquated warehouses and piers were removed, which has helped renew some interest in the downtown area. And we talked about the military presence here. There's over 62,000 active duty personnel, 75 ships, and 132 aircraft. And the base here is also the headquarters of one of NATO's regional command centers. This is also a very important region for shipping. However, being so close to the Chesapeake means that Norfolk's been battling the early signs of rising seawater. In addition, it can be hard to attract modern workers to a city that's not new and innovative. This community can only rely on military personnel for so much. Thank you.
Now we're going to head north of downtown into one of the worst neighborhoods in Norfolk, an area called Old Huntersville. This part of town has some of the most rundown and crime-ridden parts in Norfolk. It's about an 8-mile drive from downtown proper, so we'll just jump ahead to the action. Homes in this part of town average about $140,000, which is about half of what an average home costs in the rest of Norfolk. Now they're slowly trying to gentrify this part of Norfolk, but it's been really slow going. The housing stock here has suffered due to the struggling economic and social conditions over the years, along with the mindset that narrow homes like these were less desirable. This led to the demolition or conversion of properties throughout the neighborhood, resulting in scattered vacant lots with minimal new construction. But the high crime and overall rundown feel has made this part of town a real eyesore.
Okay, so that's Norfolk, a super old community with a lot of history and a big military presence. And like many older cities, Norfolk's trying hard to remain modern and relevant as it attempts to attract a new generation of homeowners, workers, and businesses. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great! You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. You can also now buy my songs on iTunes and other formats. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And remember, while we all might have different views, we should all be nice to each other and try to make the U.S. a better place in a positive way. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.